Ryan McCaffrey here, Matt Kim there. Welcome to IGN. Matt, we're talking about The Witcher 3's next-gen update, which is on its way December 14th. It's a seven-year-old video game getting a fresh coat of next-gen polish. You just played a few hours of it. Let's just start with general impressions. Like, how'd this game look? It's, I mean, everybody loves it. Normally, we don't do preview mm -hmm. coverage of next-gen updates for right. seven-year-old games, but this isn't just any seven-year-old game. This was IGN's 2015 Game of the Year, IGN's Reader's Choice 2015 Game of the Year. So, lots of interest. How'd it look? Uh, well, it looked great. Uh, just flat out, it looked, it looked great, it played great. So, uh, it's next-gen updates that's coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, as well as PC. Yeah. Uh, I had three hours with the PlayStation 5 version, the Xbox Series X version, and a little bit with the Xbox Series S version. Oh, okay. So I got to try out all three. Uh, but starting just with the with the next-gen stuff, with the new-gen stuff, I guess we should say, at this point, right? Yes. Uh, you know, when they do sort of new-gen updates to these older games, you sort of expect uh, ray tracing, 4K assets, uh, a performance mode, photo mode, all of those things are there in The Witcher 3, right? Yeah. And so, uh, like other games, you can choose between a performance mode or a graphics mode. And the graphics mode comes with new up res 4K textures, uh, ray tracing, a lot of dynamic lighting. So I guess we can like focus on that, like starting off. Sure. But it was, uh, but yeah, that visual stuff looked amazing. Like I got to explore all of the main areas in the game, and I got to like toggle like the performance mode on and off to see what the ray tracing would look like, and like it makes a world of difference. I, I would, I know this is subjective, but would you say that it looked like a game that came out in 2022 or still just a really pretty older game? I know that's such a fine, silly yeah, line to walk, it's, but... It's, it's tough to say, you know, I wouldn't say, I would say, I wouldn't say for sure that it, it, it's up there with like the, the new gen, new gen games that just yeah. came out, but at the same time, uh, it's real. It does a lot to bring a seven-year-old game closer to 2022 uh, than you would expect. So, uh, what do you think you're going to go with now that you've played a few hours of this when it actually drops on the 14th, which, free update for mm -hmm. anybody that already owns any version of yeah. The Witcher 3, right? So, that, which is great. Thank you, CD Projekt, for doing the right thing on that. Uh, so, are you going to go performance yourself, or are you going to go quality? I'm going to go performance, just because, like, while the quality stuff is great, you know, at the same time, like I said, it's not, you, when you turn on quality mode, it's going to look very modern and very new, but it's not going to be, it's not going to convince you that it's a game that came, that was made in the last, you know, couple years. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, performance mode though, like that 120, maybe even higher, uh, like frame rate that they were, that they were shooting for, or that, I actually, I believe it's 60, but like, uh, unless you got a killer PC. Right, exactly. Unless you got a killer PC. <laughs> Which plenty of folks do. Right? But it, Especially those new 4000 series cards, right? It ran it ran amazing on the PS5. Like it was oh, good. buttery smooth. Uh, we we what was it? We joked actually with CDPR. I, I, I fast traveled to that bog area in the game and they call it, you know, frame dip bog, I think internally. <laughs> we went there, we turned on performance mode. It was like it was like I was on like playing at 2x speed. Like I was just zipping Sweet. through everywhere. It was it's so smooth and buttery that I can't wait to like play it again in that specific mode. And then uh, the other big thing that you got to check out was the new content inspired by the Witcher series on Netflix, which I love that show. Mm -hmm. I'm bummed to see Henry Cavill leaving that show, but I'm gonna give I'm gonna give uh, <laughs> Mr. Hemsworth a shot. So, uh, how was that stuff? Yeah. So they, uh, I, I actually didn't know about it going in, but when when I arrived there, they they told me that there is a, a new quest line where you can get a reward that's related to the Netflix version of The Witcher. Uh, I don't want to spoil it too much yeah. here, basically, but there's a whole new original quest line. Uh, it was very, it was. Really, you know, it was like a whole branching quest thing where you have like a the classic Witcher formula. You go in, you kill something. There's a tough moral decision at the end, and then you get a little reward. Yeah. But and then the reward is a Witcher Netflix thing. Uh, I will share this actually. Uh, while this isn't a reward that you can get in the game, they have an option where you can get the Nilfgaard uh, the Nilfgaardian enemies to wear the Netflix Nilfgaardian armor. You know, the one that people were like. This looks kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. All right, so uh, this is coming soon, December 14th. This is a 150 plus hour video game. If you haven't played in seven years, it sounds like they're giving you a pretty decent reason to, to come on yeah. back in. And if you've never played it, 
it's still a great game, right? That, Did it, it still feel great in 2022? 100%. That's basically what they were saying, is what the, the target for this new next-gen upgrade is really new players who haven't played it before. And I, who've come in as fans of the show, exactly, probably, yeah, in a lot who, of cases. Who are curious about it, and like this is 100% going to be the way to play the game going forward. I can't imagine anyone going to go pick up the PS4 copy of it right. and, and going back there. You know, one of the things that I... I remember playing it, you know, back when it came out, and one of the things is that it felt a little slow, right? Like Geralt kind of felt heavy and clunky and he bumped into the walls and, and sometimes he clipped through things and stuff like that. All of that's been refined and improved. So this yeah. is becoming the definitive version of the game to play. Outstanding. Matt Kim, thank you so much. For more on The Witcher 3 and the next gen update, keep it tuned right here to IGN. She's a child of the Elder Blood. Say now. I've got to find Siri. And if you find her, the girl will die. <laughs> Our world will burn!